Is there any patient in this room? Oh. There he is. How old are you? How old are you, Henry? Two, three, four, how old? Tell me how three. old you are. He looks like he's about 15. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Are you 15? He acts like it. Is this turn three? Yeah, in November. Okay. November 1st, he turned three. Perfect. So what's so what's the story? So basically, he it's, um, basically he just likes to shove stuff up his nose. <laughs> yeah. And um, he he was complaining about his uh, nose, and I asked him what was wrong with it. And I looked at it, and I noticed that it was um, running. And I asked him what was in it, and he said a bead. And sure enough, I sure enough, there's nose, a bead. There's a bead stuck in his nose. I don't know how long it's been in there, but. He told me about it yesterday. Now, you started to see some redness coming out of his nose there. So no, it I just, just around, you can see around the edges where it's kind of, it looks like he's messed with it. Yeah. Um, and it, it just looks raw. Yeah. And I figured that was just from him, his nose running. Yeah. And then he told me there was a bead in there, and I looked, and sure it was. Yeah. And now, now I know why only one nostril is running. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and that's a good clue. So from a teaching perspective, if a parent sees drainage from one nose and also if they start seeing purulent drainage and a lot of times there's body odor that comes along with this too it's like oh my goodness he, he just smells <laughs> and um but when you start to get drainage it means it's probably been there a little bit of a while for a yeah. little while so okay all right so we're going to do we're going to use the cat's extractor and so from a teaching perspective the the, the goal here is to actually demonstrate how to uh, remove a foreign body by Where's he going? Yeah, five. You gotta lay down, son. You wanna you wanna get that bead out of your nose? Okay. I think perfect. he's I think he's grown grown fond of it because right? I don't think he really wants it to come out. Oh. Uh, Has he had this before too? Yeah. Really? In the past, it, he's done this. Yeah, before? he's um. This is the second time that he shoved the bead up his nose where I had to take him to the hospital for it. Okay. Uh, he's, okay. He's shoved other things in his nose that I've managed to get out, but this is the second time that I, I could not. I just couldn't get it out. Sure. Okay. Sure. Sure. So, Mama, we might have to just come this way and just hold his hands. Go get us. some sheets, wrap them up. Uh, you, let's see. We can we can probably you know try this, and if you could just hold his head you know, tight for me, you think you could do that? You gonna you gonna do it? Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll try okay. it this way. If not, you're gonna be putting a straight jacket. Right. Okay. And we have a little uh, extractor, Mama. Mm -hmm. So what do, what we pretty much do is you know this is a thing like the top of it has a little balloon in it. Mm-hmm. So we put this little thing inside his nose. We pass it through the foreign body, meaning we pass it through where he has the bead. Mm -hmm. And we blow the balloon and just pull it out. Okay. Simple thing. Um, it just has to be still for a few, you know, a few seconds. Okay, you gotta be real okay? still, okay? All right. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if I can. You gotta be real still so they can get it out, okay? There we go. I was gonna hold you down when I come out. All right. Let's try this. It's right there. We could see the bead right there. You doing good? <laughs> That's it. You got it out. You got yeah. it out. Oh, where did it go? Bead flew away, huh? You're Let's good, Bubba. You kicked him in the face. Okay. I think That's you okay. got your payback. Oh, nope, right here. So we got the bead right here. Huh? <laughs> that, that really did go flying. Yeah. <laughs> it did go flying. It's a little bigger than what I thought it was. I know. I know. I thought it was a little smaller than that. But awesome uh, device, so. Yeah. We got it. Look, you're good. Hey. You're good. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm you're sorry. Good. I'm sorry. You want to give me a little high five? Do you feel better? Do you feel better? You want to go get some McDonald's now? Okay. Go McDonald's Let's just take a look. Time. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Yeah, so that's what. That's the second thing we always do is we, we uh, take a, another look because where there's one, right. there may be two. Right. We'll just look, okay? I'm going to shine lights in your nose, buddy. There we go. There we go. Yeah, and I don't see. I don't see. There's nothing on either side. Nothing on either side. So we're good. Good job. That was a little bit bigger than what I thought it was. So you I got some. You got some wild feet there, though. I know. <laughs> yeah, he's really good at kicking. I'm sorry about that. Okay. You gonna That's apologize? Okay. Maybe I got that on video. Yes, I know. <laughs> huh? You gotta kick me in the face. His feet That's like all went matters. all the way we, back. We yeah, yeah. We fixed it. That's all that matters. We got it, dude. That's right. All right.